Hello friends, it's Jenna. Today I am showing you one of my favorite fast-growing Hoya that I have and this one is called the Hoya Lacanosa which I don't know what type because there are so many types of Hoya Lacanosa and some have different colors of bloom so I don't know what this one look like but I am about to know what it is because friends I will show you why I have this very special so slowly i'm so afraid to touch this but i gotta show you this this is the peduncle that is about to open up into a bloom which i am hoping that it will not fall out just like the other hoyas that i have the hoya shooting star that keeps um try to bloom and falls off but in my previous video it finally bloomed which i shared it happily to you friends and this one is waiting to bloom which is i am so excited actually so much so much happier this time this time i am finally knowing how to um, care for this plant because i almost killed this plant friends i don't know what to do before when i got this and then i had a different mixture in my soil of course i had some succulent mix on that mixture and not really actually well draining so i moved them into a different mixture which i am trying to show you here so i am hoping i could show you properly here all right so let me try to lift this up and show you the mixture so this is the same mixture that i use with my hoya macrofella that i posted in a previous video so you could see here this has the mixture of succulent mix and actually a lot of this sphagnum moss in here because this hoya actually likes a lot of moisture and you could also tell when this hoya is thirsty is when the leaves starts to feel like a very thin paper and very wrinkly so here you can feel this it is actually very plump and it feels like so well hydrated and then when it is not you could see look at this one this i need to take this off so i did not cut this before the video because i want to show you also um that whenever it gets to this point you can just take this off that way it could start to grow so that off and you and then when it gets time to pluck this off you could actually pluck it like that easy so do not force to uh, pluck it if it's not ready that way you don't hurt the plant and now it, when you wiggle it and it falls off that's when it's time that way they can start growing from then so that's good now and then also you could tell i don't know if i could find a leaf here that is thirsty but sometimes you might think that this hoya is sad or um something is wrong because when i forget to water it sometimes i can feel not all of the leaves but one of its leaves is actually one stem is actually very thin thin feeling like very wrinkly thirsty looking plant when the leaves start to feel like a very thin feeling paper really wrinkly also you can tell from the back that it wouldn't look so healthy that's when the time that i really water them and feel underneath here to make sure that it is um not dry on the side because of this mixture friends some of the spots are not um getting the water and it dries up so fast so sometimes i take this out in this um six inch pot and just water them and let it flow and then put it back into this this pot because this pot doesn't have a drainage this white ikea pot that i have don't have the drainage so that's when i take this um out actually uh, i could show you i take this out and then water this and then put it back into this um pot and i also have rocks in the bottom here because this pot that i have is so tall and i like also actually having the rocks underneath it 
for some reason for added moisture humidity i don't know why but my plants are so happy with it so every pot that i have have the rocks underneath them but you just have to look underneath to make sure that the roots are not coming out from the bottom looking for that moisture right under your pot as well so that's one of the things that i look to also um the way to have this more splashy is that to expose them with more light and you could also notice here the top are so red the new growth are actually almost like a purple color leaf to me and these are the new growth and then it starts to get green and green and as it grows and then also i will show you another plant that i have that has more splash on it which i keep inside i could also show you some of it here before i get the other pot here is some of the splashy leaves so it just needs a lot more sun and it gets to that splashy too and this one as well the other top one here has more splash so during winter season also i keep this by uh, my north side window and that's where it was hanging out and then this spring it started to grow faster here outside in my east side patio where it gets morning sun and that's where it loves it so i'm gonna show you the one that i kept indoor with um just the regular light a white light actually in my school room that's where i place this where it gets the um west sun sunlight during the day so this one i keep this in my school room shelf and it has that white fluorescent light only and this is in a leka or a clay pebble so you could notice also it looks the same as what i have in the outside but notice friends this is way more splashy than the other one um because this this one stays inside the house and the light is on for eight hours to 10 hours i turn it off before i go to bed and then it does get more light than that because i um even sometimes to turn off forget to turn off the light and then the next day i could see it so purple i was so afraid one time that this plant got burned but no because it is not too close to the light but you know like if you have a lamb uh, on a desk that's how far this plant is on a lampshade but it was a fluorescent light that i that i use on this one not even a grow light friends so this is happy as long as you have lighting exposed it close to the lighting you can get it to um get more splashy indoors so, so i know some of my friends have their plants indoors and that's the way to keep this um, splashy indoors is to give it more light and also you could get that beautiful um, purple or reddish leaves however you see this plant and also I like that it grows so fast friends and uh, you could also try to propagate them as soon as you could see some of its roots going out you could and it gets longer you can cut them off and make new plants but that's how you i do it i propagate some of this and they grow fast also i i do the uh, clay pebbles to propagate them sometimes i just put it straight to water with the leaves dunked in the water actually and it likes it and don't mind my water here i need to change this actually <laughs> It's about time to change them so I am going to change them soon after I show you this so friends this is this beautiful fast-growing Hoya Lacanosa plant so I cannot wait to uh, see what actually th the bloom is the color of the bloom because I'm so excited for that I am just so amazed with this fast-growing plant it grows like weed and <laughs> so happy with this um beautiful hoya and it does like to trail down i actually love it this way so i kept that's why i kept some of them of this plant trailing down 
that's how I keep them that way and I can put this on a shelf and they could trail down nicely and I also added this um, trellis that I used that way it could also trail up when it grows taller so that way I get two in one right some trailing down and some growing up I am not planning to repot this anytime soon because um, it is hard to repot this because it comes in multiple plants underneath here and while they're happy in here why repot them right and they are not um, root bound anyway so they're staying here for as long as I like it and for as long as they like it as well so well this is it for this Hoya Lacanosa friends and I will update you with the bloom if it continues on blooming opening it up and not fall off I will take a picture update you on that I also have some Hoyas that are also um about to bloom which i'm so excited to share it with you too now let me show you what i have here i'm showing it's showing this beautiful hoya finally bloomed and look isn't that so amazing how that looks and it smells so good too it smells like a rose to me i just love it i just can't believe that this hoya is such a um cutie pie i call it because <laughs> they are so tiny the little blooms are so tiny and they are so cute looking um it has like a creamy color to it and yellow in the middle oh friends this is so amazing to finally see this and that's what the back of this look that's the back of the bloom right here Okay, right there is the back of the bloom isn't that so adorable and fussy that is just so amazing i just love it so cute i can't believe it this hoya bloomed on me so pretty i'm so happy all right well thank you so much for watching i hope you like it happy planting bye bye